both sides agenda. Right. You know, and they're on his timetable. And it scared them. Yeah. <laughs> they're afraid. Yep, yep. So that's why they're trying to move faster. So you ex expect these devils to do a lot, lot of, uh, to bring some, bring that again. That's, oh, you still, what you got? Just uh, go with whatever you got. Okay, uh, uh -huh. Jeremiah 51 and 25. Behold, I am against the O destroying mountain. So the most high is against America. Okay, he's against all you faggots. He's against all you old faggot ass white people. You walk around looking like a bunch of little girls. Look like a bunch of faggots, a bunch of little weak motherfucking bitches. A bunch of pansies. Look Straight at, up. Straight I mean, up bitches, man. Straight up bitches, man. Straight up bitches. Now people, oh, why are you talking shit about white people? You're white, motherfucker. Look, all white people ain't the if same people. you still people. have to explain that to these fools that's been arguing about the same stupid shit yeah, the same all this time, shit. then, I mean, you gotta ignore them to a point, Oh, yeah, man. you gotta ignore them. I'm just saying, ignore them pieces so, of shit, man. these are not my people. All these faggot-ass white people that look like pansies and talk, look, they're not the same race as me. We're not the same nationality. We're not the same people, okay? Right. My people is motherfuckers like the Irish no, and all these broke-down motherfuckers. Not that these little fucking faggots walking around. These ain't my people, man. These are people right here, too. Oh, you know what well, I'm talking about? The <laughs> I mean, other white people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're right. You know? That's all. something they can't comprehend, though, because they're blind to this. They can't comprehend that, man. But in their spirit, they know we're not the same people. When I talk face to face with a lot of these rich white people out mm -hmm. here, these little faggots, right, right. we automatically know we're not the same. The spirit and and says, I, can feel, I can feel the hatred that coming through the spirit. That vibe, like two magnets pushing apart. Just like, yeah, like the, the white people kicked us out of the coffee shop last mm -hmm. week. Yeah. Those were my people that kicked me out. Says so the, the spirit bear witness. It bears witness. Yeah, the spirit. Some old, some the old, spirit. Some old Edomite white bitch kicked us out of the coffee shop for being black. Okay, we're right, talking right. about black stuff. Right. Oh shit, get rid of these motherfuckers. Oh, my fault. Go ahead. Read Behold, it. I am against the old destroying mountain, yeah, said so the, the Lord. Yeah, so the is against America. He's against your goddamn democracy. He's against motherfucking Barack Obama. Okay, he's against Michelle Obama's scary looking ass. He's against all you dumbass uh, whores out here. He's against all this shit, man. He's against the Super Bowl. Most I ain't with none of this shit, man. None of this shit. He ain't with y'all prospering. He ain't with y'all whatever, man. Uh-huh. Go ahead. The cop must have been amazed by us. You know? Where was he at? Yeah, Someone probably yeah. called in on us. Oh, he, he was just staring like I wouldn't even pay attention. In the van. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I mean this, looking at two, I mean looking at some brothers out here, man. They're like, why'd you not watch the Super Bowl? What's right. wrong with you? He did have this is our Super Bowl. Like, yeah, yeah right. right. This is a Super Bowl. Right, uh, Nahum one and two. God is jealous and the Lord revenges. The Lord revengeth and is furious. Oh, well, they say revenge is a dish best served cold. Ooh, it's cold now. Yeah, hey, hey, we go. Y'all gonna get? Yeah, y'all gonna, gonna cold cut your ass. Go, what's that word I'm looking for? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, whatever. Best yeah, served cold. Yeah, revenge is a dish best served cold. That mean cold? I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. And is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries. And he reserveth wrath for his enemies. So the Lord got number wrath and destruction reserved for you motherfuckers, man. Go ahead. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power. It will not at all acquit the <clears throat> wicked. The <clears throat> Lord has his way in the whirlwind. Oh, yeah, because they're going to be begging. Oh, I thought, I, we, we got to forgive everybody. And well, look, don't everybody get forgiven. Okay, yeah. sorry. Yeah. It's just not the way it is. Now, you know, that's the perfect scripture to come out here, too. Go ahead. The Lord has his way in the whirlwind and in the storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. What would you better get? Pushing that shit out, huh? I had to do a little snap rocket. We motherfuckers going nuts over that goddamn. They mad as fuck because the Seahawks so just scored. Yeah, let me, let me finish this part off right here. I got it right here. I got it. I just found it. This is um Deuteronomy 19 and 19. I'm gonna start at 18. And the judges shall make diligent inquisitions, and behold, 
If the witness be a, a false witness, which Esau is the false witness. Right, a false witness. Because you go up in these courtrooms, there's no justice up in there. The only person, the only people that's getting acquitted in the courtroom is the motherfuckers that got a lot of money. Fucking Jews. Yep, yep, yep. If, you, if you have money, you don't go to jail. It's like playing that game Monopoly. You know what I'm saying? You got some money, you get out of jail quick, don't you? Or you get a jail, get out of jail free cards. Yep. I'll go ahead. If the witness be a false witness and have testified falsely against his brother. They testify falsely. Keep going. Um, then shall ye do unto him as he had thought to have done unto his brother. So shall thou put the evil away from among you, and those which remain shall hear. Are uh, we going to put the evil uh, away from, far away from us, all right, when we killing you motherfuckers. That's right. Chopping your goddamn heads off. Hey, like, you, you can read about that. What's that in the book of Numbers? When the most high just opened up the earth Ooh. and was sucking people up in the earth. Swallow them up, them wicked ass niggas that was talking that shit. Yeah, yeah. They, they murmuring, all you murmuring motherfuckers, you like to murmur. All like that dumb ass black bitch. Right before we came out here, we was up here uh, getting coffee. We came out of that school, we got kicked out of that school. We was getting coffee from one of these stores and this black bitch was like, what's that sign all about? Then we started to tell her and then she was like, oh, I don't want to hear about all that. We can't get into that. I'm like, well, bitch, you asked me what it was all about. <laughs> well, I started I to tell you. I know I did. Oh, yeah, I know I did. I shouldn't have did that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you still said something else after that. Dumbass bitch. Dumbass bitch, bitch, man. I'll go, read that again. And those which remain shall fear and fear and shall henceforth commit no more any such evil among you and thy eyes shall not pity. Yeah, there ain't gonna be no more LGBT motherfuckers waving rainbow flags, faggots walking down the streets, bitches walking down the street, tattoos on their titties. Hand you can see, hands. you can see the bitches' nipples. Oh, you can see the bitches' pussy, the camel toe, the butt crack. Ain't gonna be no more of this shit, man. No more, no more. And the eyes shall not pity, but life shall go for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth. Hand for hand, foot for foot. <laughs> you know, the, like they said, that we gonna tri uh, we gonna tribulate. Uh, oh, oh God, what is this? Let me just get. Yeah, that's one thing Esau. He, he don't want nobody to have that revenge spirit. That after and that. Yeah, they tell you to well, well, I mean, actually, you read the New Testament. I'm gonna break this. People will have a problem with you saying that. In the New Testament, the Lord said. There shall be no more uh, eye for eye, tooth for a tooth, because you're supposed to forgive your brothers, okay? But however, however, well, however, however, get, get, let me explain. Get Matthew 18, because I got to hit the people who are accused of being evil. Because we're going to get, like I said, <clears throat> first we're going to fish, but then we're going to turn into hunters. We're going to get to that point in time, there ain't going to be no more forgiveness. That door is going to be shut. You know what I'm saying? Give uh, Ma uh, Matthew 18 and 1, I believe it is. I think it's Matthew 18 and 1. Okay. Because like, like he's because it's soon because the Lord, we're gonna get to that point when the Lord, he's giving you plenty of time. The scriptures say he's slow to anger. You know what I mean? But he's giving y'all time to get right. But soon, that, like I said, that door is gonna be shut. Oh, just Amen. because he's giving you a um a grace period don't mean, oh, I got this grace period so I can just go out and do what the fuck ever I want. Right. You know what I mean? That's a judge. That's a that's a fool that he's void of judgment. Yeah. You know, he don't know how to that judge. Oh, yeah. Man. People say they can eat pork because we're under grace. Right. Oh, yeah. Grace. Oh, yeah. Eating swine's flesh don't sound like grace to me. Right. That smells like goddamn <laughs> Satan. That sounds like, that it smells sick. like death. It smells like death. Uh, read that. Matthew 18 and 1. Matthew 18 and, uh, Matthew's 18 and 1. At the same time came the disciples unto Yahweh Shai, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And Yahweh Shai called a little child unto him. Hold on, let me see this. Let me see this. Now, that's, I think it's just a spot right here, but, uh, uh, skip down to verse 7. Actually, no, read it all. Read it all. We, we'll read it all. Yeah, just, yeah, just keep going where you at. Yeah, good. Might as well read, that's a good point. <laughs> Matthews 18 and 1. At the same time came the disciples unto Yahweh Shah, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And who's the greatest? Keep going. And Yahweh Shah called a little child unto him and sent him in the midst of them. And he said, Verily, 
I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Yeah, you gotta be like a little child. A little child, you gotta receive instructions. The kids got faith too. A little child has a, a humble spirit. Yeah, a yeah. humble spirit, right. Yeah, she has a big faith. Cause yeah, when you first get this truth, you are you gotta be like a child. And then you grow up in the truth. Keep going. And become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself. Humble himself, like you said, little children are humble. They ain't all proud yet. <laughs> Take them a while to get there. Keep going. As this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. All right, keep going. And whoso shall receive one such little child in my name receiveth me. Right, keep going. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones. The little ones is talking about us, okay? Like you say, he compared, you gotta be like a child. So the little one is talking about the elected Israel. So if you offend any of us that's in this truth, if you offend any of us that's out here teaching this truth and pushing this word, keep going. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me. That and, believe in the Lord, keep going. And were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the depths of the sea. Right, so if you have a problem with us, you might as well go kill yourself. The Lord, the Lord told you to go kill your damn self and jump off a goddamn bridge. Go commit fucking suicide. You might as well commit suicide like Judas did. It'd be an honorable thing for you to do. You know what I'm saying? You know what? It's funny as hell. I was over Dave's crib the other day, and uh, there was a whole bunch of kids around, and they kept asking me questions about the word. And one kid said some stupid shit, and, when, and this little boy, he said to him, you, you shouldn't talk like that to him, or you need to go take a millstone, put it around your neck, and start jumping the water. He told him that? He told him that. Oh, it was a little kid to say that. With a grown man besides you know y'all got you got well i know yeah. i'm serious this man was this little kid was talking man <laughs> and he was remember he was reminding me shit and stuff that was in the scriptures man all these grown people the only thing they will talk about some goddamn football right this little kid was quoting shit in the scriptures that i forgot <laughs> <laughs> man but dave man he's void of judgment man he in the scriptures man but like i said if you don't have somebody around to uh, smack the shit out of your ass and correct you, man. You're gonna just be doing what you want, man. Just gonna be doing what you want. The most high is gonna deal with that, man. But chill out with that fool. Y'all got, got more of that, man? Yeah, go ahead. Because I got something to back that up. Yeah, this is the point I wanted to get, though, actually, right here. Matthew. Talking about the eye for an eye, two for a two thing. Uh, go ahead. Matthew. Yeah, Matthew 2, uh, 18 and 7. Yeah, 18 and 7. Matthews 18 and 7. Woe unto the world because of offenses. Woe unto the world because of offenses. Keep going. For it must needs be that offenses come but. Yeah, yeah, hold up. Yeah, because the Most High, He created the wicked for the day of evil, okay? Like Isaiah 45 said, the Lord, He creates peace and evil. But just because the Lord creates peace and evil, keep going. That's the point right here. For it must needs be that offenses come. Yeah, the offenses must come for prophecy's sake, actually. Keep going. But woe to that man by whom the offenses coming. He said, woe to that man by whom the offenses coming. So, like he said, I, on that day, there's going to be no pity. What the Lord, what he said, he shall not acquit the wicked. He shall not acquit the wicked. Yeah. There ain't going to be no acquittal. There ain't going to be no uh, forgiveness for the you motherfuckers. The Lord is with the wicked every day and shall not acquit. Something like that. Right, they, yeah, you ain't, ain't gonna be no forgiveness. You know what I'm saying, the Lord. Payoff. Ain't none of that, man. Y'all just gonna get your motherfucking head chopped off. You are gonna rip your arms off your torso. <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, like how they could, you go to court, they could have quit it if they wanted to. They can't, they can't quit and shit on this one. <laughs> Not this case. Well, the judges, they got it coming too. <laughs> like we said, the people gonna go nuts. They gonna start, just like they doing in Ukraine. Ooh. You see over there in Ukraine, you got, uh, you got 
people fighting the cops over there, man. That, that's coming here. They go at, and they fighting the cops over there in Greece right now. Yep. Right before we came out here, I was watching a video. Some protests was coming up on some cops with some baseball bats and yeah, sticks yeah, yeah, and yeah. beating yeah. their asses with that's it, man. Dope, man. A yeah. lot of cops, they gonna get scared. They gonna put that. They gonna put their badge down and walk away and yeah. join the protesters, even. Yeah, the fact like, that U.S. government, their CIA's over there uh, instigating that shit. Probably giving them <coughs> weapons and you know, what's that? I seen an old. Well, maybe was it Italy? You know, Did you see that one protest? I think it might have been Italy right. or Greece. I can't. Remember. I think it was Italy. Right. Italy when when the when the cops joined the protesters. Oh yeah, I saw that. You seen that? I saw that. Yep. Yeah. Um, as a matter of fact, they dropped their guns and put them down yep. and just joined. Yeah, I saw yep. that. That was Italy. Yep. That was Italy. That's crazy. That's the spirit and right That's there. what's going to happen here in America. That same day, some going to join, Everybody, some going to go home. But the more, more people, they going to turn against the government. Yep. They like gonna, they're doing now. They're going to be occupying all the government buildings. They're going to burn them down. Like what's going on. Yeah, just like yep. in Ukraine. That's going to yep. go worldwide. That's this right. shit going to get crazy out here, man. I can't wait, bro. It's going to be crazy. I can't wait. My son. Damn. Here, I got some. What I got you got? Some. Oh, um, go ahead. This is Proverbs uh, two and one. My son, if thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou incline thy ear unto wisdom. Incline your ear unto wisdom. That's his scripture. And apply thine heart to understanding. Not the wisdom of this world. This world's wisdom is foolishness. Come up talking about you, an agnostic, an atheist. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Egyptologist. Yeah, goddamn Egyptologist or Muslim. You know what I'm saying? Talking about, I'm about to go do some yoga. <laughs> Yay. If thou criest after knowledge. But you got a lot of these bitches and the main ones into that yoga shit. And they be dragging their husbands up in a yoga place mm -hmm, with them. Mm -hmm. and the husband's like, okay, I'll go with your baby. They be having giant yoga classes in the gym, man. Giant classes, man. Go ahead. Yea, if thou criest after knowledge and lifted up thy voice for understanding, if thou seekest her. Yeah, yeah, like right. If we was out here teaching people to do yoga, and we was teaching y'all to uh, get up your kundalinis and uh, what's that called, the chakras, and, <laughs> and if we was talking about, oh, you gotta meditate so you can, uh, so you can, uh, what's that? You gotta awaken your chakras and all this other bullshit. Mm. If we was out here talking all that madness, man, <clears throat> man, people would love us. They'd throw money at us, we'd be yeah, rich, yeah. we'd be getting yeah. paid, son. Right we be, yeah, we'd be getting paid. If thou seekest her as silver and searchest for her as for hid treasures. Right. Then right, right, we we search after the like most of these people, the only thing they think about all day is get money, get money. Get money. They just searching for money, uh get penny pence. Get a new car, get a new New, yeah. Get a new adulterous wife. Just, yeah, right. All they're doing is scheming <laughs> on wickedness, right? Mm -hmm. but, but we, we, we they spend all this energy on wickedness, but we spend all that energy on searching for the truth. Searching for them deep mysteries. The, 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 right, the mystery. That right. treasure. They look for that That's treasure. treasure. That's treasure. Yeah. We, yeah. We be finding, uh, we be finding um, uh, a, a mystery. We be fired up. We can't wait to tell the brother. <laughs> yeah. You know, share it with them. They get mad if I forget to mention it on camera. <laughs> You know what I mean? That happens a lot too. Yeah, because the spirit, we're dealing with the spirit. You know, the spirit wants us to go somewhere else. We're going with it. Yeah, we used to stay up until goddamn five in the morning studying shit, trying to learn, you know, have a new mystery revealed to us. We ain't up all night doing what y'all motherfuckers do. Right. Whatever that is. Watching their favorite whatever. TV shows. All right. they do is watch TV. We watch Sports Center on repeat. Sports Center on repeat, or they watching their shows. Housewives or I BET. Know, I don't even know what shows they watch no more. It's a bunch of bullshit. All right, all right. Go ahead. Um, then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of the Most High. Yeah, because if you knew about the fear of the Lord, you wouldn't be doing the bullshit y'all is doing out here, man. Mm -hmm. They love Jesus, though. Oh, they're they gonna pray for us. <laughs> I pray for you in the name of Jesus. I'm right at that. Either. <laughs> <laughs> for the for the Lord giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. Oh yeah, because the people, yeah, the Lord giveth wisdom. So people always try to say, uh, I don't want to hear what that book says. I want to what I want to know what you think in your own heart. They have to, you, you have to follow your heart. You don't have to follow a book. You, see, you, you just gotta you have to follow everything that's in your heart. What they do say when we was out here, we was watching a video yesterday, Daryl. He said. How can y'all use that book of authority uh, to, to make judgment? Authority. Yeah, remember yeah, yeah. that? <laughs> you don't no. remember dude out here? 
he uh, he, he said that too. He, he, he said, even might do that. So I don't think he, he realized no, what he uh, said. He I didn't like, catch it uh, then though. It's the Book of Authority. With the uh, faggots. What, what, what they have they ever done to, uh, to us? Yeah, right, right, They don't right, bother right. us. And, I don't remember. Yeah. I don't ever pay attention to these fools. I'm just waiting for them to shut the hell up so I can hit them with the I button. Didn't, I didn't know what she said that either to them watching the videos, man. There's a lot of times. Yeah, that's why I like um, re-watching those clips. You hear people say shit. You hear yeah. shit you didn't hear before, right? right. Yeah, yeah. Book of authority, and that's what this is. <laughs> Cause I always talk over everybody. Yeah. Anyway. He didn't know what he said either by saying that. He didn't realize what he said, but the spirit brought him out. That's how the spirit do it. The yep. spirit have you cutting yourself, man. Yep, yep. Having you making yourself look stupid. That's right. That's what happened. When you come with your old wisdom, the Lord uh, uh, you catch yourself in a trap, man. <laughs> yes, you, you, <laughs> you're right, because you'll end up looking foolish because you have no idea where you're going. It's like it's like you're trying to go on a on a trip somewhere. Uh, and you're trying to go to an out, out of state to a town you've never been to and you're going there without a map. <laughs> you ain't going to make it. Right. You ain't going to make it to your destination because you ain't got no map. That's you right. don't know where the fuck you going. Right. You know what I'm saying? We got the map. Go ahead. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. That's a sound wisdom. Talking about you a, an Egyptian or a Muslim, that is, that's, that's, that's not sound wisdom. That's foolishness. That's a giant stumbling block. A giant stumbling block. This, 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 this Muslim shit growing, man. Everywhere you look, almost you see. A, I seen a couple of Muslims already today while we was out here. There's Muslims all over the goddamn place, man. He lays up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. Hey, yeah, actually, I would like Sharia law better than the fucking America's law. Oh, anything better than this shit. Yeah, fucking, this is, this is some bullshit out here. Reward these bitches to spray their pussy to 12 different niggas and have a baby ball up. Because I will say the Muslims, they get a lot of shit right, but you get a lot of shit wrong, too. You know what I mean? <laughs> the main thing you get wrong is you, is you blaspheming the Lord and you saying that, saying that, yeah, right, they saying that he didn't rise from the dead. And they saying he didn't really die on the cross. That's just blasphemy right there. You know there. what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And that Muhammad is another. Yeah. No, he's the greatest prophet. Yeah. He's, a, he's yeah. the greatest prophet. They got their time coming because yeah. they don't know who Yahweh but Hashem Yahweh is in that game. Yeah, right. Yeah, they ain't calling on Allah all yeah, they day. They're going to be a shot of a doubt in their minds then. They wicked ass mouths. Y'all going to find out who the true Allah is. Like he right. said, it's Yahweh but Hashem Yahweh Shai. Because you're going to get your ass whooped. You're going to get it beaten to you. All you other nations. All you stupid ass two thirds too. He keepeth the paths of judgment and preserveth the way of his saints. Then shalt thou understand righteousness and judgment and equity, yea, every good path. When wisdom enter into thine heart and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul, discretion shall preserve thee. Discretion. 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 You got yeah, right. This, because you got to know, right, you got to, just look, I'm trying to figure out a way to break that down. Just look up the word, just let me look up the word discreet. Discreet. Yeah, that's a good word. That's a real good word. Because that's something women I got a are void. That's, that's something women are void of. Discretion. Well, they, well, why, you don't, people don't know when to keep their mouth shut and they don't know when to speak. You know what I'm saying? They speak out of turn. They, they just have no no uh, discernment. Discretion, discernment. That's probably the same word. Discretion and discernment. They sound very similar, don't they? Very similar. Probably good reference to them. Cause these fools, man. Cause it, if, if you ain't got a teacher, if you ain't, if you ain't got a proper teacher, or someone to teach you these scriptures, man, you ain't gonna learn shit. You gonna open up this Bible and be all kind of confused. You ever see one of these bitches open up the Book of Revelation trying to break down Revelations? Yeah, I was cracking man, up. They right. sound foolish as hell, man. You sound like a fucking jackass trying to break down the Bible. Here it is, a bitch don't know nothing about history, don't even know what the fuck the Roman Empire is, don't know what the fuck the Greek Empire was, never heard of Alexander, don't know any historical dates or historic, they don't even know who the first Caesar was or the second Caesar. They don't know goddamn. Or what a Caesar is. Oh, well, they don't, well that's a salad. <laughs> but, but here it is, they gonna try to break down Revelation. Right, right. That's why y'all need okay. death. Check this, this is uh, fucking, uh, some bitch there. She thought Martin Luther King died in the 80s. <laughs> there you go. Dumbass bitch. Yeah, right. dumb as hell, man. Right. They, they ain't got no business touching this Bible. Let me read this again before I read the definition. Right. When wisdom <laughs> entered into thine heart and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul, discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee. Now, this is the definition of the word discretion. 
the quality of having or showing discernment or good Are judgment. Discernment, it is the same word. Mm -hmm. to yeah, yep. I knew it was going to be in there. Yep. Or good judgment, the quality of being discreet, um, cautious. 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 If, right. uh, go ahead. Go All right, because like you said, you can't speak at this. Proverbs that tell you you can't be speaking out of turn. You, can't, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, if we're, we're the prophets and we out here and we're breaking these scriptures down, you should shut the hell up and listen. Shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Right. The, uh, um, ability to make responsible decisions. The responsibility. <laughs> You're not going to be able to make any proper decisions. Hey, let, girl, do me a favor. Unless man. you know get, the laws. Uh, get Proverbs. Get what I got. Get Proverbs 2 and, and start at um, 10. I, I'm going to get this other scripture. I can't hold my phone in and get the scripture. I, don't want, I just don't want to lose it. You know what I mean? Proverbs 2 and 10. Oh. I got to get this scripture, man. Yeah. This is just a scripture that's just, it's on point with Right, because a lot of y'all, you don't know that eating pork is wrong. Here these motherfuckers going to come up to my mouth. Jesus loves you. Why they eat a goddamn bratwurst? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Eat They'll pray over that plate of pork. They gonna talk about they love Jesus eating a pepperoni pizza at the Super Bowl party. You know what I'm saying? So that's why y'all, if you don't know the, if you ain't found the laws of the Most High, if you don't even know about the laws of the Most High, you ain't, you ain't gonna be able to make no kind of decision, no kind of proper decision. Cause you don't even know the laws. You don't even know right from wrong. Just like we was uh, right before we came out here, my brother he was on the internet and we seen Lenny Kravitz had a, a, a tattooed on it. What did it say? Some. Uh, my heart belongs to Jesus yeah, Christ. Lenny Kravitz has a tattoo wow. on his back that says, "My heart belongs to Jesus Christ." You stupid motherfucker! The Bible says you're not supposed to get tattoos. These dumbass people. Oh, I love Jesus, so I'm gonna get Jesus tattooed on me. I'm gonna get a scripture tattooed on my arm. Well, here it is when the scriptures say, don't print any marks on your skin, you stupid motherfuckers. But you don't know a goddamn thing because the Most High ain't dealing with you. <laughs> what you got? Oh, uh, you better read something? Yeah. Uh, uh, motherfuckers, yeah. They're always talking about they love Jesus, don't know a single scripture. All they know is John 3:16. I got you. I got you. That's it. But they, they love Jesus. Here you love go. Him. Here you go. Um, um, this is Titus two and one. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. Sound doctrine. The word, uh, yeah, doctrine means teaching. Okay, a sound teaching. That the that the aged men be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith, charity, and patient. The aged woman, like way, like, like we were talking about, how they can't, they don't work on they don't have discretion these aged women ain't discreet ain't these they, they are a bunch of goddamn hoes these old 50 year old 50 60, 60 they're a bunch of old goddamn whores old and they hoes. teaching their daughters to be whores. old hoes old, old ass motherfucking hoes the aged woman likewise they the reason their daughters are whores is, is their mother's mama. fault yeah. it's their mama like the book in ezekiel says um like you like mother, take like up this proverb like you're right there you go yep. The aged woman, likewise, that they be in behavior as become holiness, not false accusers, not giving much to wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young woman to be sober, to love their husband, to love their children. They don't do that. They, don't, they bitches kill their babies. They have an abortion. Fuck their baby. They don't give a goddamn about their husband. They, they, a bitch will actually say, I don't care about no man. There's plenty more where that came from. Yep. They just move on to the next one. They get tired of your broke ass. They're going to find a new <clears> man. <throat> they're going to take all his money. And when he ain't got nothing left to give, they gonna, she's going to leave his ass right, and right. They get another one. Yep. That they may teach the young woman to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet. They, these hoes ain't Chase. discreet. Chase, discreet. They, they bitches are walking down the street, titties showing. You, you can see the bitches' titties, nipples, you see their pussy, tattoos on the titties, you get tattoos on their butt cheeks, you know what I'm saying? Goddamn whores, right. man. Keepers at home, good. Ain't, these hoes ain't keeping shit at home. They ain't, they ain't keeping shit, they breaking up the home. Yeah. They, they, they a bunch of goddamn home wrecking hoes. <clears throat> Most I said, they are enemy. They are the enemy. They are the enemy. Uh, obedient to their own husbands. Now, these, Obedient to your husband? Nah, we're equals. Everybody's equal. These hoes ain't obedient to shit. Y'all goddamn dog is more obedient than one of these bitches, man. Mm -hmm. That's why it's even wrong to call a woman a bitch 
Like we always say, it's an insult to a dog. Because yeah. a dog is loyal. Yeah. These, these bitches ain't loyal to shit. They yeah, ain't. Stay loyal. Free that again, man. These hoes ain't obedient. To be discreet. I don't know now. I don't I only know. I ain't never met an obedient hoes before. Oh, no, excuse me, an obedient woman. I haven't never seen that. Well, you didn't choke them like I did. Oh, <laughs> they well, I'm talking about they are stay, they are stay be obedient for a little time. They, I ain't met one either. <laughs> I just made them obedient for that short amount of time. I had them on lease. <laughs> I ain't never had no obedient bitch, man. That's fooling. That's that's fooling myself. That's fooling my damn self. <laughs> Chase keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands. Huh? Yeah, keepers at home. These bitches. Here it is. They'll be married with a husband, but they still want to go out. Yeah. Go out to the bar when they married. A bunch of goddamn hoes. Well, the only reason they go into the bar is so they can go. <laughs> find someone to fuck yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. go home and uh, go come home back to their husband and give him a damn disease yeah. give him some <laughs> give you some genital work some herpes some gonorrhea and syphilis to clap mm. go ahead that the word of the most high be not blasphemy that was it man so you y'all some blasphemous ass hoes man i hate all you goddamn whores um yeah, that definition bad man it's pretty pretty much Breaks it down pretty good. Oh, you have more than that proverb? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, uh, just took the commas. Just took the spirit somewhere else. Oh, that's all good. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know what it was going on. Yeah, uh, it, it broke itself down though, dude. Yeah. That discreet is bad, man. Cause ain't pretty much what we're talking about now. Uh oh, yeah, well, now hold up. When you say that word discreet, but the bitches, the bitches that. They, they be discreet when they cheating on your ass. <laughs> right. <laughs> that nigga choked the shit out of me. He no, catch me. Sneaky assholes sneaking that nigga around. Kill me, he catch me. Yeah, just sneaking. Come on, we gotta be discreet. Cause I, I got a man. That's what they think discreet mm. means. You know what I'm saying? When they commit adultery, being sneaky. You're a bunch of sneaky assholes, man. Uh, uh, whatever you got, bro. Hey, let's get uh before we get out of here, man, let's get that Ezra. The few shall be saved. Yeah. I'm, 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 I was just feeling that. Uh, you already read that? Go ahead, read that. While he's getting this, what's that, Ezra? What's that? Uh, 15 or 16? The few shall be saved now. It's like. It's from 8. Man, I'm ready. It's been a minute since I read it. Is it eight? Yes, eight. Eight started eight and a half. Oh, my mom. Okay, just go ahead and get that Ezra, man. Okay, um, um, Roman nine, Romans 9 and 27, good too. Here you go, um, uh, um, um, 2nd Ezra 8 and 1. And he answered me saying, The Most High hath made this world for many, but the world to come for a few. The world, that's talking about the kingdom of heaven. Go ahead. Um, I will tell thee a similitude, Ezra, as when thou ask, askest the earth, it shall say unto thee, that it giveth much more whereof earthen vessels are made, but little dust that gold cometh of, even so is the course of this present world. Oh, yeah, the scripture say love not the world, people. There be many created. Are there be many created? <laughs> So the Lord created all kind of people. Keep going. But few shall be saved. But few shall be saved. So a whole lot of people are not going to be saved. Most people are going to die. Okay. When them nukes start dropping, most most y'all just going to die, man. And the most I ain't with you, you just going to die, and there ain't going to be no saving your ass, man. I'm not going to save you. What is that? Ask for some fire in Ezra 15. Make the one. I got to check that out. Real quick. I think there was something else I wanted. Okay. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That is fifteen. What you got? Um. I'll oh, go ahead. Read, read whatever. I got. I'll, I'll get this. Um. Oh fuck it. Yeah. Hold hold on, go on. ahead. <coughs> uh, why you getting that? Let me read this. Ezra is fifteen and four. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Hmm. Let me read that again. Bro, that's For all, all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. That's all. That's a whole lot. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> that's a whole that's lot. A, that's a great multitude of people. Right you know here. what I'm saying? Behold, <laughs> saith the Lord, 
I will bring plagues upon the world, mm -hmm. the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Whew. Let me read that one more time. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Mm -hmm. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth Mm. And their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, uh, saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Because it, it was at one time that you didn't hear none of this. You didn't see many of these people on the street inside of Ellis, New York, and we didn't even see that. People out, you know, but not, like now, you're seeing us out in the street pushing this word condemning America and telling America why it's about to be destroyed. We're holding no tongues no more. Yep. You know, I used to personally sit around at home before this truth and wonder, what, what can I do? What can I say, man? Hey, here, here comes the truth. Just like, let me, I got another point for you too, because it says, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, what, this is key, which they profanely <laughs> commit. They, like, all these faggots, they're not just doing everything in secret. They're out in the open, in your open. face with mm -hmm. it, shoving it down your throat, yep. waving yep. goddamn faggot flags in the air, having protests, marches. They got faggots get married on TV at the Grammys. They just, just forcing it down your throat, having devil worshiping ceremonies on the Grammys. They probably got a devil worshiping ceremony at the, uh, at the Super Bowl. The whole Super Bowl is one demonic, devil worshiping yeah. ceremony. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. And that's all. It's fantastic. on the 33rd day of the year. All right, it's on the 33rd day of the year this year. Oh yeah, today's Groundhog Day too. These Israelites think they can walk by here and think this ain't gonna affect them, think it ain't nothing but Look a bunch at of crazy like motherfuckers. Right. You call it a Super Bowl It's going Bowl to done? affect you in time, in a short time. Let me read this. Uh, you don't just look at your Israelites out here pushing truth and you ain't got no questions or nothing to say about it. Death is going to come knocking at your door just for ignoring it. Yep, that's where they gonna get death. death. That's right here. I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. That's profanely ignoring a, yep, a righteous profane. act. Of love. Pro profanity means outside the temple. Right. They, they weigh out the temple. Well, look, they, they getting even further. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So y'all uh, all profanely, all got all these faggots out here, they profanely. What does that say? Which they profanely mm -hmm. commit. Mm -hmm. Neither will I suffer them in these things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Oh, God. Behold. Is that anger being expressed or is that love being expressed? That is anger. You know I, feel it. I love the Bible. I feel it. I love, That's I why I love, hear I that, love the Bible, man. <laughs> that is a, it's the greatest thing ever created is the Bible. Right. Pastor No Law would have been reading like. He would have never read that scripture. Yeah, I can't. This oh, is can't this, that's going to fuck with my money. They're going to leave my church. Yeah, my glasses on. So, uh, I'm just, fuck up my C3 charter code. Right, right. You know what I mean? Behold, uh, hold on, hold on, where am I at? Behold the innocent and, oh, this is, listen to this. Behold the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me and the souls of the just complain continually. We're that innocent, we're that righteous blood that's continuously complaining day after day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days out of the year, continue. We don't take days off of to find some pleasure. Cause I, I think pleasure. I'm- We out here teaching why the Super Bowl's yeah, on. Right, this is our pleasure anyway. Fuck the goddamn Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? We, we could have been at a Super Bowl party or partying right getting now. Getting drunk as fuck. Getting drunk, right. laughing, getting drunk as fuck. ha ha ha. Yep. You see that play? Ha ha ha. You see that? Oh, that's a bad call. Damn, that was oh. sweet. Hey, a man in- Damn, that was sweet. Oh, you think they're going to win? I ain't got time for that bullshit. Yeah, it's a right. nonsense. I ain't got time for that bullshit. Plus, right. all the games are fixed. Yeah. Right. You, you know the Super Bowl's fixed. Yeah. The there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of. There's a lot of gambling money uh, on, on them games. They make billions of dollars in gambling money in Vegas on um, sports games. So you know, goddamn well, that all that shit's fixed. Especially the big games. Anything know? Esau controls. Yeah, that's how the game started off with the safety. Yeah, that sounds yeah, For real? Yeah. Game, yeah. game wow. starting off with the safety, that sounds fishy. That, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, let me read it. Behold, the innocent of righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Mm. And therefore, uh, saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them 
and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Them is not everybody. That, that's the point I wanted to get on. Them is not the world. They, oh, that's good. This is on point too, man. Yep. This is uh, 1 Peter 1 and um, 4 and 18. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? <laughs> Simple question. That we'll be scarcely saved. Right. If, if we're going to be question. scarcely saved, if, if the righteous, the elect, the, the men of the Lord, the prophets, the saints, if, you know, if we go scarcely, that means we barely going to make it. If we're barely going to make it, what's going to happen to these fools? They going to get fucked up. They ain't going to make it. Uh, they ain't gonna make it. Uh, right, they ain't gonna, yeah, make yeah, it. ain't gonna make it. Yeah, that's a good way to end. Oh, he got, we're gonna yeah, end it on this. This is uh, Isaiah 42 and 14. I have long time holding my peace. And the Lord is long time. Y'all talking about what? Well, Jesus ain't never coming back. Time, he ain't never bro. gonna come back. That's oh, right. okay, that's okay. Time, bro. You wanna talk that shit? Okay, talk that shit. Hey, Isaiah 42 and 14. Isaiah 42 and 14. Isaiah 42 and 14. I have long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrained myself. Now will I cry like a travailing woman. Woo. I will destroy and devour at once. Them, them, them contraction pains, because we've had kids, we've seen a woman, when her contractions get closer and closer, yeah. they get more and more painful. More and more pain, more she's grabbing your arm, scratching a hole in your ass, more and more, they get worse and worse and worse, man. It's like, it's like, it's getting worse and worse. And the situation, the political situation in America is getting worse and worse and worse. And it ain't gonna get, it's gonna get worse before it gets better. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> so if y'all, the future ain't too bright. Keep on. It's bright, it's bright for us, Lord willing. Read that. I, I will make waste mountains and hills and drive all their herbs. Yeah, so the Lord going, he going he gonna to make, he going to make waste those mountains. He's talking about those kingdoms. The Lord's going to lay America flat. Rothschild. It's going to get level. It's going to get nuked. There's going to be a nuclear war. America's going to get nuked. You heard about uh, North Korea just fired their nuke plant back up. Mm. You know, Iran's making nukes right now. Russia mm. got plenty of nukes. Uh, Iran they, said today nuke, they was planning on attacking America. Damn. They said they got sleeper cells in America yeah, yeah, ready to attack. They, Russia just broke this treaty that they made with uh, with faggot-ass uh, Reagan back in the 80s, yeah. some nuclear arms treaty. Russia broke it. Yeah, like and six months ago. And, and, and while, yeah. while Russia is making more missiles, America is following the treaties <laughs> and, and, they're, and they're filling up missile silos with concrete. <laughs> uh, and that, that, that they had that nuclear subs used to hold like 24. I, I, I'm going to get the number wrong, yeah. but I'm going to paraphrase it. But our nuclear, uh, America's nuclear subs used to hold like 24 nukes or something. Mm -hmm. They cut them in half of how many they're allowed to hold. Wow. So, China, so Russia ain't cutting their yeah, shit back. Yeah, I was just reading that this morning. Hagel, Chuck Hagel, that, whoever that dude with the military. Goddamn devil. Yeah, yeah um, he said uh, it's a shame that America don't have the, the $1 trillion that it needs to upgrade a nuclear arsenal. Yeah, I've seen that to. shit Wait, too. No, no, uh, China's got this new hyperspeed missile. I saw that too. Yep. And, they, and America said they're worried. <laughs> the top generals are saying they're worried because they don't have an answer for it. They don't know how to stop it. Oh, that's beautiful. That they're making beautiful. cuts in our military. And I think they said it goes something like 8,000 miles an hour. Supersonic speed. A supersonic right. missile. Yep, yep. But it's designed to take out aircraft carriers. Because yep, America yep. has like... A lot of them. A lot. Have they got like... A lot. 14 aircraft carriers in service or something, but they got a lot. They got mm -hmm. more than what they telling you too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go, this is Job 7 oh, and 11. Therefore, I will not restrain my mouth. I will speak in the anguish of my spirit. Oh, I will oh, hold on, I know one, one of America's aircraft carriers, what, the, the Reagan, I think, is mm -hmm. out of commission right now because it, it got uh, polluted by uh, radiation from Fukushima. And that was one of the newer ones. Right, it was a bad, and they can't even use it because uh -huh. it got so much radiation right. in it. Damn. So what? they getting fucked up, bro. That's good, that's good. That's <laughs> good, so that means awesome, a lot man. of sick-ass motherfuckers on there, on that boat. I, therefore, I would not refrain my mouth. I will speak in the anguish of my spirit. I will complain in the bitterness of my soul. All right, so we out here complaining right now. Complaining. We, we pray that the Most High destroy America as soon as possible. We're going to be complaining while we're walking away from this camera. Right, right. we turn the camera on, we still going to be talking shit. Yeah. 
We, we don't just stop talking. We don't, we don't only talk shit on the camera. <laughs> right. This one, I guess, is very... This is us. This on, is a, on the way here <clears throat> and on the way yep. home. On the way here, on the way home. I, I always feel like I don't never even get nothing good on camera. You know yeah. what I mean? This oh, is what we real, always say the best shit when we buy ourselves. Right. This is what the real prophets do. This is the life of a real prophet if you want some reality TV. This is it. It tell me you, you you look you look at a lot of you looking you looking at a lot of sorrowful men. Why ain't you ever happy? Why don't you ever smile? I ain't got shit to be uh, happy and smile about. Let me get that scripture real. You know make what I mean? Last one. Make that last. I ain't got one. shit to be happy and smile about. You know? That's because in a world smart. where there's no true brotherhood, in a world when there's no true family, in a world where there's no true righteous judgment. You know what I'm saying? How in the fuck you gonna smile? What you got to smile about? Smile about my kids? If, if, if you out here happy as hell, then you ain't smart. You ain't in the spirit. Smile period. about having to go to work every day. Right, right. Right. Getting up in the morning. You out here smiling, you a fool. Yeah. You, you a too, goddamn fool. Ain't too bright. Right. <laughs> you right. You're right. You out here happy. You ain't too bright. Screws ain't the screws is loose. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. You're happy as hell. You chemically imbalanced. You know what? Right. <laughs> right. Fucking foolish ass shit, man. This is a life of a prophet, oh, man. Cool. Sorrow and anguish, man. But you know, we out of here. And uh, death to America. Death to your motherfucking mama. Yeah, death to your adulterous ass mama and your grandma. <laughs> death to your motherfucking De little nasty little kids. Nasty trifling ass sisters oh, and yeah, aunts. Yeah. Little monster, you know? death to y'all motherfucking faggots and cats and save a hoes. <laughs> death to you motherfucking. Death to all your dogs you committed bestiality with. Actually, yeah, because they actually not. <laughs> man. And, and they pets. Oh, that's man. crazy, but now nah, we that's a whole. Oh, we we man. probably make another half hour video on that. <laughs> I mean, for real, because the Lord gonna put all y'all to death. Just like when we talking about that movie Unforgiven. Remember your boys talking shit. He's like, bitch, I'm gonna I'm kill you. I'm gonna kill your, uh, I'm gonna burn your house oh, down. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna shoot your dog. If anybody take a shot at me, that that, my that's shit. the type of anger you're shit. supposed to have, yeah, man. You just want. He was in the spirit thing. Yeah, he was yeah. in the spirit. He was in the spirit thing. Yeah, yeah. He, he was up. in the spirit as soon as he heard his friend was in a box in front of the store. He got yeah. his spirit right yep. then and there. And he killed your boy. What's he his killed deal? everybody. Mm -hmm. He killed all. He killed Gene yeah. Hackman. He, Gene he Hackman. killed that motherfucker. He went up there. Wild Clint Bill. Clint was. Uh, That's what the best movie. Right. Yeah. Like, I gotta yeah. go watch that. Wild Bill was uh, Gene Hackman. Yeah. 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 What was his name in that yeah, bottle? Um, William, William, William Money. William Money. William Money. Yeah. William that money. was him, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to change his ways. Okay, you can turn that off. William 